Hey YouTube, it's Jurak Master, and uh, hopefully we get some good duels today. Uh, going back for another round of dueling, and um, hopefully I can get a few in, do a good job in them for you guys, um, try to get some good commentary in, and uh, keep it interesting for you. But, uh, you know, this is Dueling Network, we never know what we'll get, and um, unless it's awful, I'm going to have to use what I've got. So, uh, we're using the updated... Um, let me just redo this. We're using the updated Heretic deck that I use. Um, you won't see the update on my channel for a little bit longer. Um, I might update it a little bit more. I don't typically update things right as I make changes. Um, I typically do it when I've made a decent number of changes and tested them for a while. So uh, this series will kind of show you guys some of the process that I have. Um, testing decks and whatnot. Finally got a an opponent. So um just tell this guy good luck. Oh uh, he's one thirteen, I'm one oh nine, so sad. Um and wow he's at seven twenty three, I'm at five eighty. But that really doesn't mean much. I like to mess around. And a lot of times when I play this it's either really late or really early. Right now it's actually a reasonable time, so I'm not tired but I'm probably not going to pay 100% attention which is one thing that Dueling Network is bad for you're a jerk like first turn come on man negate my summon negate it it's an order thank you you fell for my deceit and I'm just going to set an end like a wimp so uh, hopefully this video will be a little more entertaining than usual because no one else is at my house right now so I can be as ah uh, no you don't to grave you just been veilered uh, yeah but no one else is at my house so I can kinda be as loud and stupid as I want and say what I want whereas normally I have to kinda watch it he's not even gonna attack he's like no don't kill me please I didn't do it um, banish, banish, banish. Well, this is a really unfortunate situation to find yourself in. Oh, whatever, we can do that. Let's shuffle this deck and send this duality to grave. And with that, we're just gonna wait like a wimp. Actually, it's more like a boss. He's going to attack us, and we're just going to be like, No, we're living. Because like, against a Hieratic player like myself, I'm going to keep going back and forth between Heretic and Hieratic, by the way. I just can't stop. Um, but between, like, against a player like me, playing this deck, you got to watch yourself. To grave. That's sad. That actually hurt. But, you know, if you live me at 100 life points, I can still beat you that next turn. Like, you never know. You might think I have nothing, but it's just because I'm waiting. I'm waiting until the last possible moment so that I can kill you in the, the fastest, easiest possible way without risking a dark hole or some stupid crap like that. On Dueling Network, it's a bit different because we got Gustav Max. Uh, in the real game, we don't. But you don't ever really, truly know, right? Uh, we'll add this to hand. I'm probably going to try Curse of Dragon out at some point. Let's uh, special summon this guy. If they've got a response, I'm kind of annoyed, but I don't think they do. Yeah, so that's good. I'm going to special him. Activate the effect of Tefnuit from the grave, which I'm pretty sure they also can't do crap to stop. Um gonna go ahead and do that like a boss banish this guy special you just declare that we're activating the effect to be fair uh, I'll bring it out in defense seeing as I'm just gonna overlay it normally that would just be a stupid move to make but um you know I'm gonna go with it hmm. now the question is do I go into this guy I will we're just gonna go for madness 
Even though I don't think I can win it here, we're just gonna go for it. Because it doesn't look like they have a Veiler or anything. And that's like the perfect time to use Gustav Max. Because <laughs> they can't stop anything until I'm done. So, I have not normal summoned yet this turn, which was indeed part of my plan. I'll special summon this thing in attack position. It actually wasn't originally part of my plan, but now it is. Get over it. Um, to grave? To normal summon. And now Tefnuit will get me this guy. Which leads to more hobo shenanigans. That's right, hobo shenanigans. I have no idea why I'm saying all the stuff I am, but I will say what I want to say. So I'm probably just going to attack into something stupid like Mirror Force anyway. Which is when you book a moon this guy or this guy. Oh, this guy would live, so you book a moon that guy. Activate his effect now. Just to get that one spare heretic monster. So that we can do stuff. Like, uh, be safe and pop that stupid back row, maybe? Uh, is it tribute? Accept this card. Crap. Um... So, that's just going to mean we... Yeah, I'll, I'll pop it. I don't want to risk anything. We'll use Sue's effect to get this second guy back in the grave. Pop that off. It's unfortunate, but, you know, it's just how it's going to have to be here. Um, it was Mirror Force. See, I was so right to do that. We're just going to overlay a few times now. Typically, I don't like having to tribute these guys off for something like Sue, but that's how it goes, right? Two thousand damage. That is a big hit to the face, but uh, this is risky because it's not game. So um, that is that is a problem to say the least. But we can do this, right? We're gonna attack over this thing for two thousand. So that's already half of his life points right there, which is really devastating. And then that's another 2,400, which puts him down to, what, 1,600 life points? So he can't afford to Solemn Warning just at this point. He pierces. Okay, this guy doesn't know. Yeah, that is frustrating, though, this guy piercing. Uh, a lot of people are going to be really mad at that. Like, this guy is probably raging over on the other side, like... <coughs> flips his computer and rage quits. Um, so yeah, sorry I'm so off, like, weird today. See, this is what I was afraid of. Um, that's why I said it's really risky. He probably just topped that, that too. Which can be really frustrating. Because now, like, I've got nothing to defend myself against him having four cards... Um, that's why I was debating not doing that, but, you know what, whatever. Ah, come on, man. I've got nothing now. He didn't mill the first time, did he? No, he didn't. Alright, we're gonna make sure he does that this time. Whether it hurts him or not, like, helps him, hurts him, does nothing, I really don't care. He didn't mill the first time. Ah, uh, and he's summoning chaos crap on me. That's fine. All I really need to do is draw Monster Reborn. Monster Reborn, this guy. Boom. I think that works. If it doesn't, correct me, but I think it does. What are you doing? Oh my god, you're stupid. What are you doing, man? Bass player's on here. Shoutouts to bass player 1549. Like, why did this guy go through the trouble to do that? Okay, he's milling. He's milling. Eclipse Wyvern. Fun. Uh, he's playing Chaos Dragons. Should have realized that. This is just gonna be crazy, because I, I fell for that like a just freaking moron. I don't even know what to say now. Dark hole. I'll activate it. I'll activate it. 
He'll probably just re-chaos me, but what do I have to lose at this point? Just one second. <coughs> yeah, excuse that cough if you heard it, guys. Kind of allergy season right now. Just getting it a little bit off right now. Um, just say hi to him. He's pretty cool. Um, I think he does more Pokemon than Yu-Gi-Oh, but... So, I mean, if you guys want to check him out, if you like Pokemon and stuff, that's cool. Um, I'm sure he would appreciate it. Not 16,000. 1,600. Come on. Anything right now. Okay, we can work with that. That can be explosive or hit a card card E or a fader or a veiler. Um, that is one problem with this thing right now. Um, what? What's he doing? Oh, he's just misclicking. Uh, special summon that in defense, although this probably presents problems for me. I just can't take this battle phase from him. Hello? What are you, you can't negate it. He's just like, oh, it says special summon, let's disregard rulings and negate it. Um... Like, it misses timing. Just keep your freaking thing out. What's this thing gonna do to you? Like... Now I'm just gonna have to banish this. And he can't negate this, I don't believe, either. So... Not that it really matters. He's still going to beat me. But. I'll attack over that to get some damage. That, uh. That Lila early on killing the Dark Bribe just killed my defense. He takes his 300. He gets to remove for another monster. He'll probably ram this. Flip that Raikou probably is going to be the first move. So. He's not even going to remove, like, it's mandatory, but it doesn't really matter at this point. Hopefully Raiko guns for this, giving me one last chance to live. Oh, uh, never mind. That's just stupid. What is that, Lila number three? Yeah. This guy seems to have gotten pretty lucky. Alright. We'll go for another duel. Um, not this video, but I'll keep going, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, tell me what you think of the duel. It was probably really stupid of me to go off then, but um, I just kind of wanted to. Like, just keep it interesting and not be boring and wait the whole duel and then realize that, oh wait, I should have gone off five turns ago, something like that. Uh, that just makes for a really boring duel. At least if I go off, you guys get to see it. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and... Uh, Feel free to comment and have a nice day.